What's up guys, my name is Alan, I'm a Wix.com developer and in today's video I'm going to teach you guys how to gain a really awesome local SEO advantage. We're going to be using Wix.com to create a structured data markup which is going to basically tell Google who you are, what you do, and what you provide, including the service areas that you provide. So this video is going to help you rank locally, uh, which is really, really amazing. And we're going to be using the structured data markup, and we're going to be creating this inside our Wix editor. So without further delay, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Regardless if you're a law firm, a moving company, uh, or even you know an AI company, uh, this markup snippet is really going to help you uh, stand out organically, uh, and it's going to improve your SEO. So so with that being said, let us do the following. First thing I want us to do is to simply go to Open Chat GPT. So let's go to Open Chat GPT because the reason why we need to go here is most of you most likely do not know um, how to write code, uh, how to write JSON LD. And within Wix, we actually need um, to write the markup in JSON LD. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to get to the advanced section and actually add the markup. But uh, without knowing how to code, we're going to be using OpenChat GPT so that it can actually give us the snippet, which we can just copy and paste um, right into uh, the markup tester, which is right here. Okay, so I'm going to exit this temporarily and I'm going to go to the following. First thing we need to do is make sure that you have. Um, put your actual local business into Google so we can find your local business on the right hand side. Now if at any point you'd like to personally hire me uh, to do this for you, definitely consider reaching out. I am available for hire under Alan Bajo via the Wix.com marketplace. So if you do need help personally, just let me know and I can definitely help you. So once you've searched your business, right, you're going to get all your business information here. So what we need to do is tell OpenChatGPT to write us a markup. So I'd like a markup. Uh, Wix.com markup. Uh, my business is called, and now we're going to go ahead and give all the business information. So in this business information is True North Movers, comma. We're going to go ahead and grab the um, address. So we're going to go here, grab the address. We're going to go here. We're also going to grab the hours of operation. So just grab your hours of operation. Simply just paste them here. We're also going to go ahead and grab the phone number. We're also going to ask OpenChat GPT to, well, I pressed enter in this case, so you can kind of see how exactly it's going to put together your markup. Again, you're going to paste this directly into Google, but we're actually not um, going to be using this completely. Uh, we're going to be expanding on this a little more. So um, add to my markup the following. Um, add reviews. Uh, we'll call it a review snippet. I currently have 420 reviews. 4.9 rating. Awesome. So now that we've added our reviews, we can also add things to strengthen our business. So for example, um, add a link to our better um, to our better business bureau. So I'm actually going to copy this link and I'm going to say add a link like our social media pages and please include our better business bureau link and I'm going to press enter. What it basically is going to do is it's going to continue updating uh, our markup. The more we can actually expand on this markup and the more we can give Google, the better the actual SEO end product is going to be for our website. So it's looking really, really good as you can see here. Um, you can see that it's looking amazing. Okay, so what do you think uh, we can also add um, for your local business to make it stand out? Well, how about the service areas? So why don't we do, so if you're a local business and let's say you're in Montreal and you want to provide businesses in Laval or um, all over basically Quebec, we'll go ahead and say, please um, add to our markup um, service areas. I provide services in the following locations. And now we can go uh, Montreal, and I'll give you an example, um, Toronto, and you can add as many service areas as you like, um, London, um, I don't know, Woodstock, for example, press enter. And again, what are we doing? We're expanding our markup. We want to try to add as much credibility to our actual markup. Grabbing sources from, you know, if you're a psychologist, psychology today, um, if you have Facebook, if you have Instagram, Better Business Bureau, um, if you have... Um, I believe one of them is actually called uh, Review Stars. If you have um, Yellow Pages, Indeed, whatever it might be. As much information we can throw on the markup, the better. 
So you can see that our markup is coming is becoming really, really great. Um, what I'd also like to add for this markup is please add a description to our markup. So what is the end goal here? The end goal is try to give Google as much information about who we are, what we provide, and where we provide the service. So with that being said, now that we can actually add a description to our markup, we're going to stop um, with our markup temporarily, and we're going to go ahead and actually see how we can actually add this markup um, to our actual website. So I've gone ahead and already um, added a markup pre previously. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and copy this markup right about here. I'm going to copy, copy, copy. I'm going to say, um, I'm going to go back to here and I'm actually going to go back into the Wix editor. So let's go back um, to the Wix.com editor and actually just see how we can start implementing um, your brand new featured markup into Wix.com. So go to Wix.com, um, click on the pages that you want to add a markup. Generally, it would be the home page. From here, click on the home, click on basic settings, and let's go to the advanced section. From here, I just want to read quickly what a markup is based on what Wix is telling us. Structured data markup allows search engines to understand page content. It can make pages eligible for rich results, which can help your website stand out in search results. So this is a fantastic tool. However, they don't write the markup for us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here. I'm going to paste this in and I'm going to go Google. If I can even spell Google, featured <laughs> markup. And we're just going to simply press apply. From here, we're going to click on the markup and click on test. That it, you'll be introduced to a page called search.google.com where it says, does your page support rich results? Let's go ahead and click on test. And within a moment, you should be able to see that you'll get a couple passes. So based on the test that we put together uh, using OpenChatGPT, you'll notice that this business now has three featured markups. It has the local business markup, it has the organization markup, and it has a review snippet markup. This is literally fantastic. But let's go ahead and take this a little bit further, okay? Why don't we do the following? Inside the Wix.com basic SEO setting, you most likely created a title and you most likely created a, a description. So why don't we go ahead and grab the title tag and do the following. I can either go back to OpenChatGPT and say, um, for the title, please put that. And for the description field, or just description, please put and now what I like to do is actually grab the description section right here, copy, and I'm just going to paste that right there. And I'm just going to give it back to OpenChatGPT so that it's going to update my um, markup one more time. So you can see we want to try to add as much details to the markup. Regardless, um, you can continue to copy that markup, go back into the advanced SEO, go to the structured data markup, and simply put the markup right into here. This markup has helped so many businesses that I've worked with. Um, again, having over 350 projects under my belt, I can definitely tell you that there's generally going to be a fantastic end result. Now, although you know you can never promise to be number one, this generally is a great addition to your SEO efforts um, using Wix.com, using OpenChatGPT uh, to write the code for us if you don't have coding experience. And um, we want to give OpenChatGPT the direction of adding a markup, requesting, and giving all the information about our business to that markup, which is OpenChatGPT, so it can give us the markup. Then we paste that markup into Wix.com, test it, get the valid test results, um, and that ultimately is going to help your website rank higher organically, plus local service areas if you told OpenChatGPT, hey, provide some uh, local areas that I provide services in. So hopefully this video isn't too long. Um, sometimes it can get a little complicated due to the fact that it deals with coding. But if you are looking to get a local SEO boost, adding a structured data markup is a fantastic way for your business to um, start climbing up a little bit higher. So hopefully you guys have liked this video. Definitely uh, leave a comment in the comment box uh, if you have any questions or reach out personally to me and I can definitely help you uh, create your own markup. Uh, and I am available via the Wix.com marketplace, again, under Alan Bajo. Have a great day, guys. Bye.